Catholic. I'm gonna go down probably in the history of booktube as being a hot mess who attempted to create a channel. But I'm okay with that because this is a lot of hair and I don't really know what to do with it. I don't know. Am I the only one that's like that? That treats the hair like a freaking blanket? Maybe I don't know. I'm just kind of rambling. Just so you guys can get a general sense of my personality and my social awkwardness, even though there's nobody around, and I'm just behind my computer filming in my bedroom like a weirdo. But hey, whatever. I say I love reading. Like, is that like cliche to say? Starting a booktube channel? Like, I. Hi guys, my name is Brittany. I am just starting a YouTube channel. I honestly don't even know how to start this like yeah I've watched so many other booktubers out there and I've watched their channels and their feedback and um, advice how to go about starting your own booktube channel and for the longest time I put it off because I didn't really know how to go about it um, you have this idea in your head that you have to have like a bookshelf in the background or you need to be really dressed up behind a camera you need to have ring lights um, and ultimately I just want to be a part of this community to share my thoughts and give feedback and recommendations about books that I like or I dislike and I'm hoping that people are able to relate to my channel and I should probably let you guys know what kind of genres I'm into as well. I love YA, uh, fantasy, I love historical fiction, uh, contemporary, I do like the occasional um, murder mystery. Uh, Gillian uh, Flint is absolutely amazing with uh, that type of genre. And I think those are the main ones that I'm into, but I'm always open to trying new things. I recently just got into graphic novels, um, and I completely blame this other booktuber for that. Um, her name is According to Jules, and I'm not too sure if other people watch her, but she's just absolutely lovely, and she makes me laugh so much. Um, yeah, and I've just been on this kind of like, like graphic novel binge. Um, but I'm always open to trying other books to see and to kind of, you know, make my reading collection a little bit more diverse because if you can see behind me, and most of it is fantasy or YA. But if anybody wants to recommend a book um, that's different from the genre that I've mentioned, feel free to let me know and I'll definitely check it out. Some different places that I like to shop. Um, for buying different books would probably be Value Village. I'm not too sure if they have that in the States or other countries, but Canada is so great um, for finding different bargains at Value Village as far as books. Um, I don't really buy clothes from there. I mean, I have, but most of the time I'm not really into what they're selling, um, but books are just absolutely great from Valley Village. I also love buying them from Book Outlet. Um, it's great that they have like free shipping now if you spend over like 45 or 50 dollars something like that. Uh, I also love Book Depository. Costco. Like a lot of people don't mention Costco. I don't know why. Costco always has great deals on books. Um, obviously you need to have a Costco card but like whose mom and dad doesn't have a Costco card? Like come on. You just go in with them and you just give them some cash on the side and I'm sure they'll buy the book for you. Um, but yeah, Costco is a great place. I found some really cool books at a fraction of the price um, compared to what you pay at Chapters or even Book Outlet. Sometimes they're cheaper than like hard covers at Costco. So I highly recommend people to check out Costco. It's so like underrated, I don't know why. So I have posted on my Goodreads some fun mostly weird facts about me and I think it's important for people to kind of get a general sense of who I am or just some fun facts about me um, so I don't seem just kind of like a generic person creating a booktube channel um, so I'll start with fact number one 
I am originally from Winnipeg, Manitoba, and I'm not going to really comment on that further because a lot of people just associate Winnipeg as being very cold and full of mosquitoes, so there's not much to say about it. I promise, cross my heart, that I will post better quality videos um, with a proper camera. I just have to figure out uh, how I'm going to set it up um, and what's the best place to film. I don't know if this is kind of an ideal spot, but I'm just kind of recording this from my computer um, just to kind of get a video up and get the ball rolling on this channel. And um, as the weeks go by, I'll be posting uh, videos with a good quality camera and not this kind of blurry, grade A webcam situation that I have going on right now. So just bear with me. Hopefully you like this channel just because you like my sense of humor or you like my the little surface of uh, personality that I'm kind of sharing. Ultimately, I hope that you guys enjoy this channel. I mean, if not, if I have one subscriber and that one subscriber loves my channel, I'm okay with that. It's totally fine. And you know what? Let's just be real here. There's a bag of chips in my background. I'm not even going to try and hide that. I eat chips. They're good for you. They're not good for you, but they taste good. And I'm not going to deny that I don't eat junk food because I eat junk food. And that I have the coloring of a sea monkey right now. That's apparently a thing. But um, I hope you guys stay tuned and I hope that you enjoy the content ultimately that I put up and I look forward to being involved uh, with this community as much as possible. And I don't really know how to end this video, so I'm just going to say bye.